Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for the Birthday People, Sun, Moon and Rising. Um, <clears throat> it is the um, second week of uh, second week of uh, September 2017 and the Energy Vibration of this week is going to be one of uh, and it is uh, for you guys it's of the year because you Virgos are about to start a new year so whatever situation that is happening in the lives of you Virgos let's look closely I am sorry this week is an earth week and um, which is a wonderful energy we have the energy of the world this week is an earth week is the energy of the world you are Virgos you Virgos are governed through the energy of the world because the world is uh, um, the earth okay so you're an earth sign this is a wonderful week for all earth sign people if you are a Capricorn a Taurus or a Virgo it's going to be a positive week but of course this is the energy vibration of the birthday people so we are going to just focus on you Virgos who are having birthday in this week so this week is running from the 11th of uh, um, September until the 17th of September okay so this week is going to run from the 11th of September on until the um, from the 11th of September until the 17th of September okay so it is still in the zodiac period of the Virgos having birthdays okay I've decided to use one set of cards and then I've changed so let's look at you Virgos we have in the beginning of the week earth energy and we have in the middle of the week earth energy so um, all the Virgos who are having birthdays, who are going to have birthdays on Monday the 11th and on uh, Wednesday, Wednesday the um, 13th is going to be wonderful. So let's see what's happening for the birthday people um, in this year. This is the beginning of the year 2017. For all you birthday peoples whatever is happening this is a sense of change is coming in for you birthday people so again if you were born on the 11th of September you have the energy of the world the energy of the world is uh, uh, the end of a cycle and the beginning of something very very beautiful in your life so you are going to begin the year 2017 which is the day after your birthday uh, with a wonderful wonderful balance there's going to be a lot of balance there's going to be a lot of stability this year is going to be a year that you're going to be building on your financial uh, endeavor so whatever uh, there's a lot of houses that will be caught about a lot of uh, houses that will be sold but houses will be bought and sold in this year um, it's going to be a positive year because um, your financial stability is going to come in balance so whatever the situation is whatever that was uh, um, affecting you whatever that was uh, um, endeavoring your financial situation your situation in the year 2017 because this is the start of your year 2017 for you Virgos um, who were born on the uh, 11 okay I'm getting the um, the uh, the push to um, pick up uh, your um, energy of uh, um, to see what else will be happening because this is a wonderful energy is to have the energy of the hurt and the energy of money and this is good a lot of people will be getting married a lot of people will be um, having good work contracts that will be happening for you so this is going to be a wonderful wonderful situation so let's see we're asking the universal angels to come in and show us whatever that is going on okay so as I look at this and I'm going back to the people who were born on the 11th and I'm doing word cards okay um, success is coming in whatever the ending of a situation and uh, 
um, success is coming in because whatever your financial blocks were now they're lifted a lot of information a lot of success a lot of positive energy is coming in a lot of you will be getting married a lot of you will be going to live together with people um, you're going to be coupling up a lot of people will be coupling up but yet still a lot of people are going to be coupling up with an organization a lot of people who are looking for work who are building on their business that sort of a thing a lot of business partners a lot of networking is going to go on this is going to be positive for you Virgos who were born on the 11th of September so congratulations again it's going to 2017 for you guys or it's going to be a wonderful powerful year you need to understand that this is when your year begin after the day after your birthday okay so now you are starting the year 2017 so congratulations As we move on to the people who were born on um, and these um, the people who were born on the 12th of September you have the energy of the fool the energy of the fool is a wonderful wonderful um, energy vibration this is a lot of people going on new journeys a lot of people ending relationships are going to find new relationships a lot of people are looking for new endeavor new part in their life a lot of people are connecting with themselves a lot of people are understanding who they are a lot of people are choosing new career part there is a lot of changes a lot of newness a lot of changes that will be happening for you birthday people who were born on the 12th of September and you have to make a lot of choices there's going to be coming up a lot of choices because there's going to be so many opportunities so many new beginnings for you people who were born on the 12th of September so you have to make a lot of um, endeavor to make the right decision because you if you don't make a decision um, then the decision is not going to be made for you so this is going to be a positive positive situation that is going to happen in your life so whatever is going on in your life know that uh, the energy vibration of the fool is going to be wonderful because what is happening is that uh, um, positive situation is going to start to happen in your life you are going to finally have uh, that new beginning that you have always wanted choices you have choices to do what you want whenever you want wherever you want to do okay be aware because with these choices comes so whenever there's so many choices uh, um, the energy of the devil is here whatever the reason the energy of the devil is here you need to understand that uh, whenever you're making choices make choices from the heart because this is going to have an impact on your year 2017 so be careful for the devil the devil is always people with lower energies and people are pushing you to do things uh, that you don't want to do these are the sort of energy that will come in and will affect you in the year 2017 and remember your birth the year 2017 um, begins the day after your birthday so this is going to be a wonderful year for a lot of you uh, people who were born on the 12th of uh, um, September as we move on to the energy vibration of the 13th of September uh, which is wonderful you have the entire entire year of 2017 which begin after your birthday the day after your birthday you are going to have the energy vibration of the hair fent working with you the hair fent is always Archangel Razi uh, uh, Archangel let me be sure but what is happening is that you'll be working with a lot of organization, people in a lot of organization. Um, you'll be clearing a lot of karmas in this year with a lot of people from different aspects of life, different organization, groups of people. But this is going to bring balance to your world because what you're doing is actually you're healing a lot of stuff that is going on around you. And uh, um, this is a time to understand that you need to heal a lot of stuff. Okay, so this healing is going to be taken place you have the energy vibration of the high princess so you um, 
you Virgos uh, for the year 2017 the energy of the Emperor and I princess this is a powerful year because this is going to be a year of spirituality but yet still a year of you listening to your intuition and working with groups of people to heal and balance their karma so it is it's going to be wonderful you're, you're gonna feel as if your energy is being taken away because whenever the energy of the rat is here is that you will feel sometimes as if your energy is just pouring out it's as if uh, I am dealing with so much situations so much cleansing that I feel as if I need to revitalize myself some people needs to be aware because the energy whenever the energy of the rat comes up with eye princess you can um, um, seems to accommodate lower energy vibration so you need to constantly clean and cleanse your aura in this year okay you need to constantly clean and cleanse your aura in this year so be aware of whatever is happening around you be aware clean the energy in your car ask for divine protection archangels uh, Michael is here he's a protective angels and call upon your angels and guides for divine protection because obviously you're going to see that negative energies is going to be you want to be taking over your energy vibration and space because you're cleaning other people energy and you are picking up these negative energies as we move on to the 14th of September we have the energy of love so a lot of you people who were born on the 14th of September is going to have a situation to deal with relationships it's going to be a time of relationships okay so the people um, of the 14th uh, the energy of the lovers is going to be a wonderful energy um, some people are going to feel as if you're fa you've failed at your relationship but actually um, it's just a lesson okay and I need to find out why is there a failure some people are going to end relationships some people are going to be moving on to look for a new relationships and these are intimate relationships these are people looking for their soulmate and twin flame It's as if they have gone through so much and now they're they feel as if what they're looking for is just a failure and they're thinking about changing their relationship so this year for you people who were born on the 14 is as if uh, um, you're looking for changing you're you're looking deep within and you're looking for inner strength because whatever is happening is that you need to find the inner strength to understand that whatever is going on and you're feeling as a failure you're not a failure and nothing is really a failure it is just that whatever you were seeking in a relationship is no longer there and you need to just accept it and move on so a lot of you people will be having situation with relationship okay I I, I, I'm drawn to ask another question about this relationship what is um, the situation with this relationship why because a lot of people are you know looking within okay you're looking for a long-lasting relationships okay um, it's as if you people have felt as if all the relationships that you have had in your life is a failure and you're now in this year of 2017 because 2017 happened the day after your birthday so you were still in the vibration of the year 2016 okay so you're looking for a long lasting strong long lasting relationship so whatever you're in now you're going to end it in the year of 2017 because you're looking for long lasting relationship relationship that will stand the test of time the soulmate and the twin flame relationships okay and this is wonderful this is absolutely wonderful and beautiful because I always like to ask the question why certain aspects and certain things are coming up alrighty um, we are moving forward I seems to be have an extra card so for the people who were born on the 5th of September you have the chariot you have victory and success whatever situation you have been dealing with for the last seven years this has finally ended and you have come out the champion so we are the champions 
so congratulations um, your year 2017 is going to be wonderful it's going to be powerful it's going to be so wonderful because um, you have uh, decided to move away from whatever situation that has been blocking you and you're looking at a new part in your life in the year 2017 remember that on the 16th of uh, um, September that is when your year 2017 um, has actually started for you so with the energy of the chariot you are going to be breaking out things in your life and it's going to be wonderful and it's going to be positive you are now about to bring a balance in your life um, whatever that was not seen and the unseen is now going to be uh, visible to you you are going to utilize um, your psychic abilities and your intuition abilities to see what is in front of you and build on something okay you have the energy of the um the coffin and the energy of the coffin is that whatever the blindness whatever you weren't seeing clear is now going to be very visible to you okay um, whatever that was hidden from you there is going to come an end everything is going to be really reveal in the year 2017 so whatever people were trying to hide from you whatever people were trying to work against you whatever that was happening that your invisibility wasn't clear you you are going to see um, no positive positive endeavor and positive situation coming up in your life okay so this is going to be good as we move on to to um, the people who were born on the 16th of September congratulations you have the energy vibration of the infinity um, symbol that means for a lot of you people um, um, the universe is going to bless you with abundance and abundance can come in all different forms it can come in work it can come in partnership with groups it can come in with good good work um, good work situations um, positive people around you this is going to be good because with inner strength it also brings you whenever you have inner strength you have balance in your life and by having balance in your life and feeling your source energy your life energy the power within you you can achieve anything in life this year for you is going to be a profound wonderful year okay you have the queen of Pentacles your own self so the women who were born on the 16th of September is going to have a powerful powerful year so use the year 2000 and because on the 17th of September your year 2017 will begin and this is going to be extremely powerful for you women's because you are going to find that inner strength and your light is going to begin to shine upon you and you are going to change things and this is a wonderful lucky year you ladies and gentlemen you have a wonderful wonderful lucky year the number two this is luck this is good luck so you, a lot of you um, um, Virgo women are going to have extreme good luck and you men but most of all the Virgo women are going to have extreme good luck in this month this is a positive positive energy for the people who were born on the 16th and remember 8 and 8 is also 16 the infinity universe is going to bless you women because you you are the change of the guard the feminine energies are about to, to elevate and you Virgos are the first one in the year 2017 to receive this so congratulations again for the people who were born on the 16th of um, September because your, your year is going to be a positive one luck it's a very very lucky year for you guys and last and least um, we've reached to the people who are born on the 17 it's a spiritual year it's a year of going within it's a year of finding solution to your situations and problem it's a year of learning new things it's a layer year of connecting with the mighty I am present the ascendance masters the spirit guides the universal 
angels and guides so it's going to be a wonderful positive year whatever the situation is um, this year is going to be a year where your inner child is going to be awakened because you have the hermit and whenever the hermit comes up the hermit comes up with the energy vibration of your inner child is going to be awakened so you have the six of cups so a lot of people are going to connect with their spirit guide soulmate and you're going to connect with your soulmate twin flame and a lot of relationships so this tower is actually releasing you of uh, things places people and stuff that you no longer need and you will be connected back to the source of all things you will be connected back to the intergalactic beam the cosmic universal beam the masters the angels the unicorn the ascendance masters uh, the fairy and the element Rome you're going to remember who you are as a true spiritual um, person on this planet so congratulations you guys so this was a wonderful reading for you Virgos because it's actually the last week for you Virgos this was a positive wonderful week and I and the guides have pushed me to use these two cards I don't know what is uh, I have no idea what is happening but they are pushed me to use this card and what I'm going to do um, is the um, the card deck that I'm using is the Angels of Abundancy, and I know exactly why the Angels of Abundancy comes up because um, you guys are a heart sign. It's going to be a wonderful, positive uh, situation that is happening for you guys. Okay, so let's see what message does the Angels have for you. They have cooperation instead of. Um, instead of completion cooperation instead of completion what what's yours is yours and no one can take it from you there's no need to compare as there's an abundancy for all you have completed completely access to unlimited abundancy for yourself and to share it with others with cooperation um, um, partnership you can accomplish anything and this is so wonderful and this is so positive so congratulations again you guys and we're using the energy vibration of um, another card deck from Doreen um, apparently uh, the angels wants me to use this card deck because it's uh, the the week of the hurt the week of the world and it is the angel answer the angel answer this is a book but it, this is how it is I need to show what cards I'm using and the angel answer and here we have the energy of don't stop don't stop people don't stop just go don't stop don't stop so whatever is happening you do not stop you continue to bring in that which um, you would like to bring in your energy vibration okay so don't stop you have to understand that sometimes things and people and places and situations will come in your life but don't stop continue on the road that you're going on and then you are going to see just positive positive situation coming out in your life so don't stop go forward and make sure that whatever you achieve in your life is going to be of a positive endeavor and I want to say namaste until next week